Hello everyone and today I thought I'll probably show you a really nice feature in Jira called aggregation or aggregator and before I show you the actual feature and how to use it, how to configure it, let me show you the objective. So I have a couple of websites and one of the main site of mine is ravisaga.in where I post a lot of things. I post all of my videos here, I write blogs here, I do almost everything here. I mean, this, this is basically my personal social networking site. And on this particular site, I apart from posting blogs, I also post my regular notes. I mean, notes is nothing but, you know, small Twitter-based updates. Or I also check in on my site with, you know, the picture if I want to share a picture or maybe a map. I mean, of course, when you check in, you are basically checking in at a location and uh, that location is, location is actually displayed here. And uh, the thing is that on this particular site, I do have a lot of content, but I do have some other sites. I do have one site called Ravi.pro and the objective of this site is to keep things simple and uh, this site uh, for me is like my own personal repository of notes that I want to publish online. And I may have some other plans for it, but I think for the time being, for the time being, I'm happy because I'm publishing everything on this site using nothing but my org mode. And uh, this is of course great, but I I also bought uh, ravisaga dot com last last year, or maybe it has been uh, I think a bit more than one year. Where I and first of all, I think uh, the domain name ravisaga dot com in itself is great, but this site, the idea was that I will make it using nothing but uh, pure HTML. I mean, of course, if, even if you look at this site, ravisagar.pro, this is also nothing but pure HTML. And uh, there, there is nothing, absolutely nothing apart from HTML and CSS. And everything is maintained and published using uh, org mode. But this site is even simpler. I am not doing any any proper publishing using any tool. I mean, I was actually using, uh, I tried Hugo, I tried uh, Grav uh, for uh, for publishing site using static site generators. Grav is not really static site generator, it's, it's basically a, a flat file database, flat file based CMS. Uh, so there is a database and you need PHP, but for this site and the other one, Travisaga.pro, you don't even need uh, any PHP. You, you can actually host these sites on GitLab, even GitHub, GitHub or maybe Bitbucket, but definitely on GitLab because they will give you a certificate. So the, the main thing is that on this site, I wanted to show some recent content. For example, if you look at, uh, uh, you know, my recent content, uh, you will notice that there is, uh, you know, this uh, latest content, which is actually coming from uh, this site, which is uh, my Drupal based site and the recent content is basically the first blog or maybe I think I'm just showing a couple of blogs and uh, this post of mine is actually coming here and I believe I'm also showing one more. So yeah, this this one as well. So I mean, of course, I can change it to two or three or five. I mean, I can I can decide. So this is probably the only dynamic part, which is in a way not really dynamic because I'm actually using uh, JavaScript for doing this. And if you look at the source code, you can actually see the uh, I believe uh, JavaScript here somewhere. I mean, uh, because you, I mean, it is nothing but uh, uh, it is nothing but a simple JavaScript. So, which is great because uh, I am using uh, my site ravisaga.in slash RSS feed. So RSS.xml is the feed that I am generating from my Drupal site, which I am basically parsing here, and it's a simple JavaScript code uh, that is doing all the work and it is wonderful but now i have my own uh, company website where i'm doing some work for the past couple of weeks and uh, because on my site ravisaga.in i post a lot of things i have all my videos i have my video courses i have uh, you know everything posted here i wanted to post or cross post some of these things here on my company website which I mean, when I, when, you, when I say cross post, I'm not really going to duplicate the content, but there is a feature in uh, Drupal called uh, aggregation. So what you can do is you can actually configure external RSS feed on a Drupal site so that it will pull in data uh, or any new item 
from those sources and you can actually configure multiple uh, multiple feeds or sources so let me show you how to do it so you have to go to configuration and then you need to go to aggregator and uh, when you go to aggregator you can actually add a new feed if you click on add feed you can actually enter the you know url of your rss feed and by the way right now i'm doing this for my main site feed but the good thing about drupal is you can also configure this feed for uh, maybe a specific tag for example so let, let me show you what i mean so if i go to this post this post has no uh no no tag but let me find one more so let me just uh, check this one maybe finally finally upgraded to drupal 9.3 so yes so let us say there is a tag so for each and every tag in drupal you can see the posts and those posts can have uh, you know videos or blogs or articles or whatever but if you go at the very bottom there is and there should be a feed for only that particular tag and if i want i can actually bring in this particular feed and uh, add it here and when you do this what will happen your feed will be pulled in with you know let us say the latest uh, 15 of whatever whatever uh, you know number that you have in that particular feed so basically if you configure this and uh, look at this particular feed so now these blocks of mine are actually coming from uh, Ravi Sagar, but they are displayed on uh, Sparksys. And if you look at this particular post, I mean, I, I, I mean, right, right now it is nothing but showing me. Uh, if you look at look at the breadcrumb here, it says home aggregator sources, and uh, right now we are looking at Ravi Sagar feed, which is actually the feed that you have within the website, and the people can actually read uh, uh, the whole. <laughs> The, the whole content i mean if they want so they can actually read the content and uh, uh, they can of course uh, follow the links if they want for example if i click on this link it will take me to the actual original article which they don't have to because i'm displaying the whole content here and uh, basically i'm trying to improve the readability of my articles i'm basically showing them somewhere else because uh, on this particular site sparksys.com i want to share with everyone that yes we do a lot of work like we have a lot of free courses we do share a lot of things online and uh, i don't have to cross post i don't have to just paste a link that you know click here to go to my other blog which i mean of course people can do anyways but uh, it is always great to have the actual content coming from one site to another site and uh, aggregator module uh, you have to basically enable it if you go to extend you have to first make sure it is uh, enabled here aggregator and uh, then of course i think by default it is disabled but this is actually one of the first feature i remember when i started working on drupal i think in 2007 15 years ago i can't believe it has been that long when uh, i was actually using this feature I, I think this is one of the first feature i tried and, and i loved i think there are so many things in drupal that like you know views that were actually not part of the core module views were nothing but a separate module and uh, and this particular uh, feature i believe was part of drupal core since the beginning or ever since i tried you know, using drupal in uh, 2007 so this is wonderful and uh, what you can also do is you can you can you will also get a, i believe a block that you can display somewhere maybe on your home page so let us take a look at the block and uh, what i will do is I, i'll probably show you so let us place the block uh, maybe maybe in the <clears throat> in in the secondary uh, you know sidebar which is on the right hand side and i'll probably make sure it is uh, only displayed uh, to the administrators and not displayed on the home page so let us let us see so i'll click on this and uh, let us try to find ravi sagar or maybe aggregator yes so we can place the block and i can select the feed so basically you know this is this is wonderful we can actually select the feed and what i want to do is i, I don't really want to display it on the home page i don't really want to display it on the home page but i also don't want to display it to others only only me as an administrator and the save block and uh, save it again and uh, let us see how it looks like let's so let us go back to the site and now look at this this is wonderful and if you uh, if you notice here of course i mean this is of course a link 
that will take you to the actual uh, to the actual content which is great but uh, you you can also i believe configure the number of items and uh, this is of course uh, you know going to i mean if if you have couple of sites and you want to you know consolidate the content and do some kind of aggregation so as the name suggest this particular block is doing aggregation for you and uh, i actually wanted to show it to you because uh, i do have plans to use it for doing wonderful things uh, on my on my company website sparkfish because i have couple of sites where i have a rss feed by the way you can also generate rss feed for your for your site published with emacs and uh, org mode and uh, this this is a great thing about uh, this is one great thing about feeds rss feeds because don't uh, we don't re really use or a lot of people don't really use rss feeds anymore but rss feeds uh, were cool I think I guess ten years ago because uh, that was uh, uh, the time when there were feed readers like you know Google feed reader which I I was using but I was not really using uh, massively but there is also one RSS feed feed reader or I think there are a couple of packages in Emacs by the way so if you want to do it in Emacs I believe uh, I made a video on this topic so let me just search. uh emacs rss i'm i don't really remember yes so yes there is so there is one uh, feed reader called uh, new sticker which uh, you can uh, try and use if you want to if you want to read rss and subscribe to rss in your emacs so these are few things that i wanted to share today with all of you because uh, in case you are using drupal or in case you are not using drupal you should be using rss feed because using rss feed people can subscribe to you people like me can subscribe to your content and uh, consume your content so it's a good idea do it <laughs> and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about and share in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye